Hey everyone, my name is Prakash. I'm the head of product of Xano. Really excited to show you this integration today. We are integrating Outseta with Xano. And for those of you that don't know uh, what Outseta is, it's an awesome product that basically is the backbone to your SaaS or membership site. So what do I mean by that? You know, when you are building a startup uh, or a SaaS business, you typically have different pieces of software that handle like your help desk and your CRM and your payments and your subscriptions and your authentication. Well, Outseta provides an amazing all-in-one tool that does that all for you. And we have a lot of people, especially within the no-code community, that use Outseta to power their startup but they want the power of Xano to power their backend for their application. So they wish that the two would talk to one another. So with this integration, we've worked hard and closely with the Outseta team to make that all happen. And I'm gonna show you how that all works. So uh, to get started, I'm gonna go ahead and start in Xano and I'll just create a brand new workspace. You can do this from an existing workspace, but this is just to make it easy to show you how to start from scratch. So I'm gonna just call this Outseta demo. I'm gonna click next. I'll click start from scratch. Uh, we do want a user table. Uh, most applications have a user table and uh, we're basically gonna use Outseta's user authentication to basically integrate directly with our existing user table. So I'm just gonna leave this here as user. I'll hit connect or continue. I'll hit continue here and I'll just leave this basic uh, email authentication on and I will click finish. So now my workspace is being uh, created here within Xano and this is going to allow me and kind of build all the API endpoints to just get me started with a basic application. So let's go ahead and install this amazing Outseta integration. The way that we do that is we go to our marketplace over here and you're gonna see this user authentication section. So I'll click that and then in authentication, I'll click Outseta, right? And so what this is, is like a marketplace extension that is going to basically provide you everything that you need to uh, get this integration going. So you might have get extension here instead of uh, install extension. Get just basically means pull this into my workspace before you can actually install it. I already have it, so I'm gonna click install extension. And this screen is just telling me that we're going to install uh, Outseta object into the Xano uh, user database table. And you can select the table you want. Uh, so I'll go ahead and click install. And after it installs, you're gonna see up at the top, there's two sections. One is that it needs to be configured, which we'll do in a second. And the second is installation instructions. So if you're someone that just likes to go step by step and not watch a video like this, you can just follow these instructions. It has all of the same content that I'm gonna cover here today. But let's go ahead and configure this. So all of this is assuming that you already have an Outseta account set up and you've already set up some sort of authentication with your Outseta users. So here I'm gonna go into my Xano or my um, Outseta dashboard and I can see I already have auth already set up if I click sign up and log in. So um, the first thing that Xano is going to ask for is the Outseta URL. This is a unique URL that is uh, unique to your Outseta account and you can get that by going to settings and general. And here you can see it says xano.outseta.com. Yours is gonna be like your app.outseta.com. So go back to Xano and uh, make sure you put an HTTPS in front of it and then just put in your Outseta URL. So ours is xano.outseta.com. Okay, the second thing is a JWT key. So if you don't know what JWT or JWE is, all you need to know is that it's the industry standard to do authentication on the internet. It basically provides a secure key or handshake that tells one service that um, another service is trustworthy. And so Outseta has basically a key that is unique uh, to uh, Xano that we're going to use to basically communicate directly and do the handshake handshake through this integration. So I'm gonna go back to general settings here. I'll go into my off settings. I'll click sign up and log in. And then I'm gonna click show advanced options, right? And you're gonna see this section called JWT key. If you don't have one, you can generate a new one over here. But since I already have one, I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna copy it. So I'm gonna copy everything, including begin certificate and end certificate. I'm gonna click close. I'll go back to Xano and I'll just go ahead and paste it in here. You're gonna wanna make sure that begin certificate and end certificate are, is, are on their own distinct lines, which they are here, right? So I'm gonna click save and I'll hit update. 
All right, so believe it or not, this is all ready to go. Let me show you what this extension installed when we, um, when we installed this marketplace integration. So the first thing, going to the database, you're gonna notice if you click on the user table that we have a little Outseta object, a little field here. And basically when we log in with an Outseta user, Xano's gonna auto-populate a user here and put in all their uh, important and relevant Outseta information into this object. And you'll see that in a second. The second thing that we've installed is this table called Outseta to do. And all this is, is basically an example to-do list application to demonstrate to you how you would use Xano powering whatever application you're building. In this case, it's an example to-do list um, using a logged in Outseta user, okay? So these are the two uh, tables, or I, one is kind of an integration inside your existing user table, and then the other is this new database table. If you go to API, we've created a new API group called uh, Outseta API group. And this basically has all of the relevant API endpoints that logs in with Outseta, does a handshake with Xano, does a unique authentication token uh, that Xano basically transforms from Outseta, and then logs you into the Xano application. So it's kind of like this three-step process, and I'll explain that in a minute. Um, so that's everything that was installed. And another thing cool about this marketplace extension is we've already installed a dummy or a test front end for you. And you can get there in that marketplace page by going to explore live demo, right? So here's a live demo. It's gonna ask for your base URL. You can get that by going to API, Outseta, and then copying the base request URL. So this is your API group that is associated with your Outseta account. And when I paste this in here, it's going to automatically take me to a login screen to show me uh, how I might I, uh, automatically log in with an Outseta user that I've created. Now, a lot of people might be asking, well, how did you actually create this? Outseta makes it super easy, actually. All we really did was if you go to auth and you go to embeds, they have these pre-done JavaScript widgets for you that allow you to do a sign-up widget, a login widget, and you basically, what we did was we copied this and we made this little test login for you. But if you wanted to do it yourself, just to show you, you can go to codepen.io, you can go to start coding, and you can just put this straight in the HTML, right? And you'll see here that that login page loads. So I'll leave that open for you for now, but I just want to show you how easy they make it to create a login and sign up screen. So let's go back here. I'm going to log in with account, an account that I already have. So Prakash plus O2 at Xano.com, unsecure password, and I'm going to log in. And so now that I've logged in, it takes me to my to-do list application. So how did it know to take me to this separate page after I logged in? Well, here uh, in sign up and log in, I specified that. Go to this specific page after you log in, right? And you can see I have this dummy to-do list application, right? So what one thing that just happened after I logged in was if I go back to Xano and I go on to my database and I go to my user table, I can see that Prakash has been created. And again, this object has all of the relevant information regarding my specific user. So you don't even have to do anything to sync as your users log in, it's automatically gonna put it in your database table, which is great but we don't have anything in our Outseta to-do list. So what we're gonna do is let's go ahead and create a to-do. I'm gonna create plus. I'm gonna just say my first to-do, um, and then I'll go ahead and click save, and I will mark it as completed, okay? So now that I've done that, if I go back to Xano, and if I refresh this page over here, I can see my first to-do. It's automatically linked with my user um, over here in my user table and everything just works just fine. And the way we did that is we basically, in our API, we use this Outseta to do API endpoint, right? So this basically is an authenticated request. It takes an Outseta uh, authenticated request, and then it just says, hey, listen, go to the to-do table and add uh, a to-do if one doesn't exist already. So it's pretty straightforward. Um, I do want to just explain briefly how this works uh, and kind of a little bit more of the technicalities around this so you can really understand how you apply it within your own application. If what I've covered uh, up to this point is good enough for you and you just want to get started, please by all means skip this part. But I think it's important, especially as you're building more complexity around your application, to understand the handshake 
with Outseta and with Xeno. So again, we're using Outseta to do all of the back office operations and authentication for us, and we're using Xano to power the business logic and the backend logic and the database for our application. So the way we establish this is when the Outseta user logs in, I'm gonna to go to this code pen thing, it basically passes a unique token from Outseta that Xano then decodes and translates to our own authentication token. So let me show you how that works over here. So I'm gonna log in with this user, Prakash plus O2 at Xano.com. And then what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna actually open up the network stack. And this, I'm gonna show you, if I go to network, what exactly happens. So remember, I just copy and pasted this from this embed widget uh, over in embeds. Um, so if I log in here, let me move my face out of the way. Uh, so if I log in, uh, it's, you can see that it's logged in over here, but let me make this a little taller and I'm gonna click in off. And so if I go over here, you can see that in that request payload, there's a token that gets generated after I log in. So if I right click on this and I copy the value, this is basically Outseta saying, okay, now that you've logged in correctly, we're gonna give you a unique token that's very secure. And then uh, because we have this handshake with Xano using that key, remember that secret key? Um, we're going to decode it in Xano. So if I went back to Xano, right, and I, I just copied that token, um, then I would basically go exchange an Outseta token for a standard auth token stored in Xano. I'm gonna use this API endpoint. So when I use this one, and I run and debug it, now let me move me over here, I'm gonna paste in that token that I just got. And when I run and debug this, it's gonna give me another auth token. So this here is what we use within Xano to do our API endpoints, right? So if you, you're a Xano user, you're already used to kind of running your APIs um, and, uh, and it all just works just fine. Here, what I'm gonna do, if I go to, let's just go to my default uh, API group and I can go to AuthMe. AuthMe is an endpoint that just says, given a token, tell me who I am, right? So if I run and debug this and I paste in that, the new Xano token and I run it, I'm gonna see that it's Prakash, this user. So what this means is that on any API endpoint that I want, if I have authentication on, if I use that uh, Outseta, decode function to uh, get that outset a token and make it a Xano token, I can then use that authenticated user on any endpoint that I want. And we have a great example for you again in this uh, creating a to-do list. You can see it's an authenticated endpoint. If I click on it right over here, you can see that it takes that authenticated user. When I click on add an edit record, it takes the auth user ID, which is what we're getting directly from Outseta. So if you have any questions regarding this integration, feel free to leave us a note, send us a message in support. We'll be happy to help you, um, but we're really excited about it again because this enables our Outseta users to maintain their amazing Outseta setup with everything that they have to run their business while getting their application powered by Xano. Good luck and happy building.